Hi all, I have another fascinating game of Stockfish to show you. This is against Komodo. This is in the Premier Division of TSAC Season 17, 2020, Round 2. Let's have a look at this game. So E4 from Stockfish. We have Komodo playing Sicilian Defence. So the first eight moves are in the book given. So D3, this is a King's Engine attack system. Uh, a quiet cooled, coiled spring. So energy sort of mounting up in this uh, quiet system. It can be quite dangerous later. So g6, bishop g2, bishop g7, white castles, d6, rook e1, knight g7. This seems to be a very sensible deployment uh, from black around that d4 square. c3, black castles, and here is the end of the book. We have d4. c takes, c takes, and black plays d5. e5. So white has a central pawn wedge. It can be undermined, which would activate this rook. Sometimes maybe that's useful, that pressure on the F file. It does weaken though the king side a bit. Once F6 is played, you can see that E6 and this island is less strong. So there's a stable triangle right now. So there's a bit of controversy in undermining E5 just to be aware of. Black does play the undermining move F6 immediately without further ado. And white doesn't take on F6, but rather plays Knight C3. We have knight f5, and now a very interesting move, b3, to deploy this bishop potentially on this diagonal, potentially. We have bishop d7, bishop a3 is played, rook e8, bishop b2, rook c8, rook b1, very, very interesting, rook f8, h4. So the king side has been weakened a little bit, and maybe h5 is going to be dangerous at some point. We have queen e7, knight e2. So that bishop is controlling these two key squares indirectly, helping support them a5, a3, bishop h6. We have knight h2, bishop g7, knight f3, bishop h6, queen d3, f takes, e5, d takes, e5, queen c5, bishop h3. At the moment, although this pawn is pinned, this knight is not threatening that this knight supporting g3, but it's to be you have to be aware of these tactics all the time in this position with this dynamic peace pressure that black has. Knight g7, and we have this supportive move, bishop g4. Very interesting. Uh, so rook f7. Knight e d4. That seems a very nice square to be using. Knight takes, knight takes, knight f5, and white snaps that off. So usually when giving up a light square bishop, you can look forward to the dark squares in principle sometimes. Is that the case here? G takes. If we take stock of this position, <laughs> stockfish. Um, so we can see, okay, well, it has a very nice knight on d4. This bishop's a bit hemmed in at the moment, isn't it? That diagonal is potentially dangerous, you could imagine, for the king. Uh, the king has been slightly compromised. Black might. Potentially, it seems, be able to use the G file though. Is there some G file usage? Is white passive here? Okay, so some observations. King h2, we have queen e7. And now a really, really curious move, which I guess it's one of those outrageous, it all depends on the position moves, which Stockfish plays quite a lot. I'm not sure I would imagine too easily considering this, but it does have a great logic to it. The queen is looking at h4, making g4 impossible right now. So guess what white plays, if I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay, a bit a bit of a, a crazy looking move, king h3. But it does mean, uh, well, for example, f4, g4 without losing h4. So it's an answer, it creates an answer, a nice answer for f4, for g4. So holding h4 here. So prophylaxis. And what's really interesting here, I thought after f4, this move also sparked my curiosity. Um, can you guess? Okay. Five seconds. White's play here. Queen d2, an interesting pinning move in the circumstances, I thought. We have a4, b takes, bishop takes a4, rook g1. So white is... Uh, enjoying all of a sudden the potential of using the g file because the king's well placed here it seems uh, white can share the fun of that g file king h8 but actually uh, more sensibly it seems well I would say 
plays g4 now doesn't want to open up the g5 in fact playing for g5 looks a lot more more interesting uh, you also note here you know if this pawn's ever moved or sacrificially liberated this bishop is going to be dangerous it's pointing straight at the black king here we see bishop g7 h5 queen e8 uh here you might un wonder what about bishop takes e5 simply in this position can you see what white does uh, rook g e1 exposes actually the potential uh, weakness of e6 here if the bishop moves e6 and the bishop can't really give itself up here and that diagonal is just lethal uh, it'll be like mating on uh, on on h8 potentially or you know rook g7 h6 or here it's, you can't really give that bishop up and if if the bishop moves then rook takes e6 is uh, damaging black's pawn structure and hit h6 for example and this check you know discover check from there is just winning material so yeah that's unthinkable uh that would be massive advantage for white so uh queen e8 is played rook bc1 rook c4 and you know white's switching to a, a queen side attack it seems after rook takes c4 uh here if um rook fc7 had been played you might wonder for a moment then just taking here and taking that just that pawns kind of vulnerable f4 and the knight you know holds key squares the, the knight and bishop hold the key entry points so uh rook c4 but this you know the downside here is this pawn's quite weak uh we have bishop c6 queen takes c4 so officially a pawn up but is it going to be really hard to win this Queen d3, rook d7, queen e2, rook d8, knight b5, bishop f3. That's an interesting trade in effect uh, offered for the bishop for the knight. That's taken. Queen takes, rook d1. Uh, rook takes, queen takes, bishop f8. So uh, you might wonder here, uh, what about taking this bishop? It's impossible. Uh, queen d8 check and queen f8 takes f8 is mate so uh rook takes d1 queen takes bishop f8 bishop a1 has white really got enough here there's a lot of work cut out for stockfish or not queen c5 um queen d8 queen takes a3 check so stockfish investing that pawn for this powerful pin position or powerful looking king g7 queen e7 queen c8 so equal on pawns, uh, white has that nasty looking pin though, bishop d4, king f7, bishop b6, and that gives a coordination point on d8 potentially. Queen g5, check, and now f3, queen h4. We have bishop f2 kicking the queen out of g3 usage. Queen e7, queen c8, again pinning b5. So black has got that past pawn king h3 h6 bishop h4 yes king h3 supporting bishop h4 that's another interesting use there queen f7 and now the bishop installs itself on f6 so it seems not only there's a pin but the king's been restricted a bit and this pawn seems potentially you know vulnerable here now is it really a liability uh, we have b4 king g2 king h7 queen c4 so f4 is now hit and it's difficult actually uh, to defend that, isn't it? We have King G8, but White doesn't take for a moment some high level shuffling uh, for a bit. <laughs> and uh, we have even more high level shuffling and torturing Black in this position somewhat, it seems. Well, Black's not doing much. The King is actually heading over here, it seems. So uh, we have the king heading over there. Now in this position, a committal decision offering uh, bishop g7. So uh, yeah, it looks like uh, white at leisure could blockade this pawn and maybe win this and maybe that's what Houdini is worried about right now. So this bishop g7, white takes that off, king b3, so blockading that pawn. And now there's the issue of f4 so this looks like uh stockfish is having the cake and eating it so to speak you know trying to win this pawn without this pawn becoming dangerous 
uh, queen f7, queen b1, queen e8, queen d3, some more shuffling. Queen g6, not minding the simplification into a king and pawn ending. That would be uh, winning, <coughs> you know, expect because the king could march over here or munch this after. Lots of options there. Um, so queen f8, queen d queen takes, queen f7, offering a stalemate trick if taking stalemate white retracts the queen, queen b7, queen d3, queen a8, and now taking this pawn, queen b7 check. And here actually, uh, it was deemed completely lost, for both both sides thought it was completely lost for black. It is a mopping up job, this, this king is going to get to safety, this pawn's going to drop off, these pawns are just going to go forward. So uh, I thought quite a, a delicate, intricate, tactical game there. Um, <clears throat> Stockfish has actually played, <clears throat> pardon me, Stockfish has actually played quite a number of its games in this round now. It's completed its game set. So the next few videos, I'm going to be checking out Leela, who in recent days, Leela has been doing fantastically well. Uh, I was a bit concerned. There weren't too many wins from Leela. I thought the greater hardware meant that Leela was only going to be drawing most of the games, but it turned out there's a number of decisive Leela games to now check out. So this is just the prelude to checking out some Leela games. And I'm hoping for an exciting final this year this time round in this season uh, between leader and stockfish that's my hope my great hope uh, so but these finely crafted tactical games really show off uh, the tactical prowess of stockfish the number one in my view tactical engine definitely for tactics dominating um, other engines magnificently and keeping control of all the finesses and resources and counterplay moves like you know king h3 uh, you know, Queen D2. I find them kind of tactically inspiring to, to play such moves in, in a way uh, to sharpen my own tactics uh, and creativity in that aspect of chess as well as just positional chess. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you want to invite me for a game, um, Kings Crusher TV is an easy way, just Kings Crusher TV. Register and I'll invite you for a game within a few days. Or you can use Bitly if you prefer that, Bitly slash Chess World there. Uh, there's also a fun Discord which is heating up. We're getting record number of uh, people online recently. A lot from TSEC actually, so I welcome any TSECers as well if you want to make recommendations for games. Uh, so that'd be cool to sit there on Kings Crusher TV slash Discord. Okay, thanks very much. Keep safe, keep washing your hands. I'm practicing isolated pawn mode right now. Isolated pawn, but I think that's the, the safe thing right now. Okay. But we can still be connected via, via the communication resources. So uh, although isolated uh, physically, we don't have to be uh, mentally with our friends, etc. Okay, thanks so much.